What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna to be doing an update on MMTLP and FINRA saga. And in today's video I will show you an update uh, from Richard Hoffman, from Mark Basile and from Rosa Tavel. These are three our headliners and the information from these people might be very important for MMTLP community. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family, and drop me a line in the comment section if you think my videos are available for the community. And this is the only way how we can attract more attention to this problem, and eventually it will help us to win this battle. So let's start with the news itself. On Richard Hoffman's uh, Twitter account, uh, you can find uh, this tweet that uh, he wrote 11 hours ago. And uh, he said, apparently, appellate decision uh, regarding prior denial of injunction regarding Alpine out today. And he added uh, 10 hours ago. Uh, per order of the court appeals, uh, FINRA cannot continue with its expedited proceedings against Alpine until the appeal is done. Short video to follow, not legal advice. And he added uh, this uh, video, uh, and it is a very, very short video, about six and a half minutes long, where uh, Richard explained uh, uh, the entire situation around Alpine. I have to say that uh, this uh, lawsuit does not relate to MMTLB story, but it might affect uh, the overall situation on the market. And uh, Richard explained perfectly well that because of uh, this lawsuit, uh, we might uh, see another lawsuit that potentially might challenge FINRA's immunity. And this is really important because uh, FINRA's immunity for now is the only line of defense uh, from FINRA, because of which we cannot uh, see the blue sheets. And if it happens, definitely, it will uh, give more, it will bring more transparency on the market and eventually it will help us uh, to win our battle. On top of that, let me show you what uh, Mark Basile wrote. And right here he responded to this tweet regarding the same uh, decision and uh, he wrote, I had a feeling that this was going to end up this way. FINRA tried, their lawyers tried, but when you have money, Alpine, you can litigate these things to death. FINRA made the effort, but really, did it? This action should have been uh, commenced by the SEC in federal court. It's way too big for FINRA. The real way to clean this uh, all up is for the issuers to sue the hedge funds that are unregistered dealers, some of which also providing criminally usurious uh, loans to the issuers, many of which uh, clear through Alpine. But most issuers like the war cry of uh, naked shorting, and uh, that's the call of the day, I guess. And uh, he also uh, added uh, this response and he responded to the tweet uh, that was originally made by Kevin B. And Kevin B wrote, you pressed my button with naked shorting, being the thing. Nothing has hurt retail's case more than how those words are bandied about. It's uh, literally the criminal's es escape. Every time they are caught, uh, they come up uh, with new ways to legalize their daylight robbery. And Mark uh, responded, If you go into litigation with the mission to weed out naked shorting, that's fine. That uh, will also be a very expensive pathway. If you sue your founders, uh, it's uh, only a handful of parties you sue, but you can get uh, to the same result at much less cost. Plus, you actually win something that courts have agreed with us on. Proven. Track record. And uh, yes, uh, I think uh, this uh, decision regarding the Alpine's litigation might change a lot uh, in MMTLP story. But definitely, we have to passionately wait, and we have to wait for the direct results uh, from our uh, current lawsuits. And let me remind you that uh, we have uh, several of them, and uh, one of them definitely was filed by Rosa Tawil, and we have uh, an update uh, uh, from her Twitter account. And uh, she wrote, as you can see, let me show you somewhere here, she wrote, in response uh, on this tweet that was originally made by Jake Rock 149. And uh, Jake Rock wrote, what's the next big, big catalyst for us? Uh, Syntax and uh, Huckleberry revealed a smoking gun. 
Hopefully something comes out uh, of it. Besides the campaign, I was wondering what should the community look forward to. 1. When will we get an update on Rosa Tower response? 2. Is uh, Mark Basil going to continue his uh, pursuit from a different angle? 3. Was Christian and John Burda were retained? We, are we going to finally get the blue sheets? 4. Congress was officially briefed uh, on our plight. What was the outcome? I don't uh, go to spaces, I just don't have uh, the time. If any of this was addressed, my apologize for overlooking. Nevertheless, I will continue to double down our efforts, but we need some wins to uh, invigorate us. And uh, let me show you the response from Rosa. Rosa wrote, hey Jay, unfortunately the procedures of lawsuit are a bit dense and depend on a huge variety of factors. So the only update I uh, can say is when it comes uh, I'll have it. I'm thinking to create a YouTube account so I can explain things uh, with clarity because of misinformation. And this is in my opinion very important news uh, uh, because of uh, which we might see more direct information from Rosa. Because uh, your uh, Twitter account, as you can see, is, it is a locked account. You cannot uh, basically freely read everything that uh, she, what she wrote. And uh, she also added, but as of now, Finra's attorney has the opportunity to again file a motion to dismiss. I suspect they will. Or file their answer. I suspect they will file a motion to dismiss first. Then I can file an opposition again uh, to motion to dismiss, then judge rules on motion to dismiss, then we see. And uh, definitely, uh, this uh, is quite a lengthy procedure and you can have more information from the PACE monitor. As you can see, you can uh, find uh, her case, uh, the number of uh, 422 CV00440 and uh, the latest update was made on May 24th and definitely it is quite a long procedure but it is what it is, we cannot, uh, we cannot force it uh, to the decision. So, and let me show you what uh, she also added. Mark uh, Farouk Mia wrote, YouTube channel sounds uh, like a great idea and Rosa uh, answered, it would give me an opportunity to explain things clearly and make videos or go live and answer questions there is misinformation out uh, there, so I can help uh, dispel that, as well as getting new information from you guys or using the chats to explain legal concepts that are asked. And uh, yes, in my opinion, it might be very important uh, update uh, uh, regarding uh, our case, because uh, Rosa filed the first lawsuit and uh, this lawsuit uh, is still on the table and we have I don't think that we might see any tangible results uh, in foreseeable future, but definitely all uh, the lawsuits that uh, are filed right now might help us uh, to eventually win this battle. And definitely we as a community should help uh, our headliners uh, to win this battle. And to do so, we have to attract more attention to this problem. And to do so, we'll please uh, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends and family. And drop me a line in the comment section for whatever reasons you want. So, see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you.